Hey guys, it's Margaret with Sassy Southern Shopper Mom. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today's video is my last video in my spring clean and decluttering um, little series that mostly has been decluttering and organizing um, little series I have today. We are going to be spring cleaning and decluttering my laundry room. Now this room has become my little junk closet catch-all area. So this is real life and I'm about to show you the mess. Alright guys, so here is the mess. <sighs> Too much stuff piled there. I need to get this organized, go through stuff. But the bad part is this has become the catch-all. Goodwill stuff, stuff that needs to be gone through, cleaning products. I need to get it organized. So, we are going to get this laundry room looking good, but first we are going to clean it out. I want to take this minute to thank all my returning subscribers and all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. If you are not subscribed yet, I highly encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos that I post. I like to post weekly, usually on Wednesdays. And I post anything from like couponing, some hauls and deals, cooking, cleaning, and really anything that I might encounter in my day-to-day -day life as a mom. And again, if any of this interests you, I really hope that you hit that subscribe button. Things I do, I might need some help if you let me go, cause I'm flying through the sky.
feel the things I do I might need some help if you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky and I'm standing a little Okay guys, if you've been watching my videos the last couple of times, I've been kind of asking questions, trying to get to know my viewers a little more. So tell me one thing, if you could change one thing about your laundry room, what would it be? If I could personally change one thing about my laundry room is I would actually have like a little um, sink station in the laundry room for I can soak stuff. I, I need to know it. Can we just open up? Cause I got to know if you feel the things I do. I might need some help if you let me go. Cause I'm flying through the sky and I'm standing a little high on you. So right here I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of how dirty everything actually is. But now I'm going to take all this out as well. I am going to leave those hangers right there, but I'm going to clean all this off as well. In all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting like we were fiction in a book Cause it's Okay guys, I have two more questions for you. What is your go-to laundry detergent and your go-to stain remover? Comment down below and let me know. Look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it Do you know I'm looking? 
So y'all know any mom or wife who is always trying to clean or do something, I don't know if you've noticed, like, or you might notice in some other video clips that um, my kids will be coming in and out. Um, my husband is currently working from home right now, so he was showing me some stuff on his phone, um, and we're just having a little bit of conversation here, but this is just real life. Um, so I just wanted to keep this in here for y'all could see that um, when I do these cleaning videos, um, I do get interrupted, um, things happen, just like you'll see in a few clips um, that my clothes changed because I emptied everything out of the laundry room, but I didn't get to finish that specific day and I had to finish the next day. So this is just real life and I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. So that is why I am keeping this clip in here. You don't know I'm looking with you. Everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I
best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep And as you can see here, like I mentioned earlier, I am in different clothes because this is the next day. I'm just finishing up just because life happens and other things came up. So I could only do so much um, on that first day. So now I'm just kind of putting the stuff back, what needs to go back in here and keeping everything out of the laundry room that needs to be either taken to Goodwill, gone through and decluttered. Um, it's just it's not coming back in this laundry room because if it does it is sit there hidden and I want to keep it nice and clean Again. did up here so these laundry detergents over here I use for cleaning like rugs and curtains stuff that we don't like wear because um, they don't do well with us or um, we just don't like the scent of it but I get them for super cheap like 99 cent a bottle the big bottle you saw me earlier put back there I got for like a dollar 99 so those I will use for like rugs and different stuff this is a laundry detergent that my son loves. So I kind of keep that one there for him. And I got an extra Tide that's already open in the back. Two big ones that we bought um, when we did our um, a grocery shopping trip at BJ's Wholesale. And then we have some like flings or whatever pod laundry detergent. 
some scent boosters. But I just have extra laundry detergent there and my stain removers. I love both of those. Those are really good ones. And then like some travel um, laundry detergent and fabric softener together is right there. I got some cleaning vinegar, my Lysol, my Clorox, my floor cleaner. And then since so that's floor cleaner, this is um, what I use. I make this for cleaning my carpets to freshen them up. I will link that in the iCards if you want to see how I do that. Then bathroom cleaners, some Clorox cleaner, and this is again bathroom cleaner here, and then my glass cleaner, and then my microfiber cloths. These I use a lot, uh, two different floor cleaners, and then some Windex, not my favorite. This is my all-time favorite glass cleaner, but I want to try and use this up before I use my good stuff up, so that's there. Then I have a thing for I can change out um, recessed lighting inside and outside in here. Our brooms, mop, mop bucket. I have my dusters down there. They both need to be washed, so I just left them there. If I can remember to wash them, my extra bleach and extra bleach cleaner. That's like for a bathroom spray bottle. Um, so I have that there. And then on top of my dryer, I like to keep my bleach with a plastic bag around it because. If it gets on a plastic bag, hopefully, you know, it'll contain in there instead of eating the paint off of the dryer. I do want to get like a little pan maybe or something to sit up here. So if stuff does spill over, it's easily cleanable. I do keep a can of Lysol down here because I come in here and grab it all the time. Um, especially now that I am um, worried about COVID with work and everything at the hospital. I like Lysol doorknobs majorly after I get my shower in the morning and I want it really close by. So I have it here because I come in through my garage which is right outside this door. Um, this has like extra buttons and stuff that I find in the wash. It goes in here if anyone looks missing something they can look in here and find out what they're missing if they think they left it in a pocket. And then I've just got some of these Swiffer um, wet mop things um, and have this on top of it because it won't stay sealed and, but they're still wet um, so I don't want them to dry out because I still want to be able to use them so that's in there and then I was starting a load of stuff while I was cleaning and then I've got um, these other little mop things over here I have I do have a thing to hang up brooms and mops I just don't know where it's at or I might know where it's at but I don't know where I'm gonna hang this stuff like would I want to hang it here on this wall or would I want to hang it like over here on this wall but I'm thinking about what well, it's in my plans to buy a new vacuum and if it is battery powered like it a hang over there because there's outlets so I don't know don't know where I want to hang it where I want to put it I don't kind of want to put it back here because this is like our safe zone the innermost part of our house so if we ever have like tornadoes or there's a threat of tornadoes that is where we come and hunker down at um, because it's just the innermost part of our house. So anyways, I hope that um, you saw all the stuff that was in here. I'm gonna show you where it's at real quick. So everything is like right here and right there. All this is not going back in my laundry room. I am gonna be, uh, and don't mind all the dog hair. She is like our shepherd sh uh, shedding really bad. Um, but there's like buckets that need to go in the garage so that's for kids to play with but like that needs to be washed up where we can use them um, but all this is going to be gone through and gone so that is a lot of stuff that is out of there that we have de are decluttering and that's going to be gone. Alright guys, I hope that you like this spring clean and declutter of my laundry room. Um, if you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and hit subscribe for you don't miss out on my next videos. Next week, I am going to be posting a what's for dinner video and it is going to be a collaboration. So you're going to have lots of things to pick from and to see and get some ideas for dinner. So again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. And I move with my body.